So I like to. It is. I like to call it purer or more organic than other racism. Because here's the thing: Missouri was the last state to free their slaves. Mm -hmm. Like they they had a special agreement that they didn't have to release their slaves. So like we're the furthest removed from slavery. Like some places. They were done with slavery decades before Missouri was. So when it comes to racism in Missouri, it's it's pure almost. Like it's, it's again more organic because they really hate us. Like they they didn't want to let us go. They didn't want to let us be free. They they fought as hard as they could, harder than anybody else, to keep their slaves. And then when it comes to the money that's in Missouri, it's old dirty blood money. Like, it's, it's money from that same period. Mm -hmm. So when the capitalism, like, is pure, then the racism is pure. Um, they they don't want to see us get ahead. Like, St. Louis had the VP Bill Profit Fair up until the 90s. I remember being a kid when they changed the name to Fair St. Louis because the VP Fair was associated with the Ku Klux They still have the VP the VP ball in Missouri at this point. Like, the, Missouri is KKK central. Like, Jefferson County is the, the hub of the KKK. That's what I've heard. I've heard that so, like, Missouri still has a huge operating... a huge Ku Klux Klan yeah. following. Like, operational Ku Klux Klan. We've received threats from the Ku Klux Klan in, in this protest situation. Mm -hmm. Just by saying you should not have killed a black unarmed teenager. For yeah. what reason? Like, I don't care what the reason was. The Sixth Amendment is a thing. It's called due process. If he was guilty of anything, he should have been tried by a jury of his peers in a court of law, mm -hmm. not in the street by a cop with a badge, and he was the only one who can make that determination whether this child lived or died. Right. So, again, when it comes to the racism that's in St. Louis, that's in Missouri, you can hear people say all the time, it's different there. There are people that come here and they're like, I never knew, like the, the, the Delmar Boulevard Street. The Del Mar Boulevard is like our Mason Dixon line. It separates the, the it's it's white flight was a real thing in St. Louis. The when black people moved into the neighborhood, all the white people moved out. They moved further and further west. Like they moved as far west and as far south as they could to get away from us as we infiltrated their communities as they would put it. Um it's the most segregated city I've ever seen in my life. Um and when it comes to the policing here, they pull these people from those West Counties and those South Counties into our communities to police us. And they wonder why there's such a friction and such such a lack of trust and because we don't trust you. You all should have hoods on at night and come put your blue badges on the next day in our communities. You're not doing that in your home. You're doing that outside of our homes. For and, that, and that's actually been proven to be happening. That's exactly what's happening. Yeah, that's, that's exactly a, what that's, has I mean, happened. Yeah, like Latin Island has like found like a number of police officers working in the city that on the weekends go do yep. KKK benefits. Exactly. You know, like. And and like it's it's not a secret and that's what's so scary about it. These people yeah. aren't hiding it. They don't know. care. They don't care yeah. if you know. What can you do about it? Right. And that's what we're standing up against. We're saying you can't just do this anymore. You can't just put this in our face anymore and expect us to take it as it is. Because it's not right, it's not humane, it's it's not just for yeah. those exact reasons. And here's the other thing about St. Louis that a lot of people don't understand. They're hearing Ferguson, 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 right? Right. Ferguson is in St. Louis. That's like saying, I want I want the bathroom without the house. You can't have the bathroom without the house. Like, there is no Ferguson without St. Louis County. Right. And before August the 9th, August the 8th, Ferguson wasn't Ferguson to us, St. Louis residents. It was North County. Because the whole, like, the county has over, like, 90 municipalities at this mm -hmm. point. And of those municipalities, like, over half of them have their own police department. Mm -hmm. So part of the the oppression here, specifically in St. Louis, for poor people, for people of color, is that they will ticket the hell out of you. Like, they make revenue off of traffic violations yeah. in this county. And that's why they have so many municipalities. You can ride down one street and get four tickets from four different cities 
and have to pay all of them. And if you don't, you are then put into this into this cycle of of jail and and bench warrants for failures to appear like you're a real criminal. So these fines, they add up to the point where you can't do anything. Like you can't pay for them. And if you get locked up, you're going straight to jail because you have no way of paying nine tickets that you received on one street, you know? Yeah. Like it's, yeah. it's, it's ridiculous to the point where I feel like St. Louis County needs to be consolidated as a county because counties and cities, that's how they work. There's a county, there's a city. And the city is zoned out into into manageable jurisdictions mm -hmm. for the police. The county should be the same way. It should be all under the same jurisdiction, all under the same police force, all under yeah. people that live in the communities that they are, are policing, that they are serving. Because the police have protect and serve on the back of their car. I've never seen them protect or serve anyone that looks like me. So this, to up until this point, like to this day, I won't call the police because you have more of a risk of going to jail than you do of being helped in any way. Mm. Like I've seen people call as a victim. Oh, they stole my car. And then all of a sudden you're locked up over a, a, a failure to stop at a stop sign that you had in 2005 because they forgot to take it out of their system. Right. Like, I've seen people pay for tickets and, like, the money gets lost and they're like, oh, we forgot to recall your warrant. Sorry, you're in jail. You still have to pay a, pay a processing fee. Like, it, it's ridiculous to the point that you guys are, they have to be targeting people. Like, yeah. there's no way that this works without having a set demographic of people that you are targeting. Yeah. Well, I want you to hold on to that dream, baby. Yeah, it's, it's just, hold on to I mean, it. I've heard the story about, like, people in Ferguson who, Per household, per capita, I have like four tickets each. Exactly. Like there are more, there are more bench warrants in Ferguson than there are residents. Like that, that's, yeah, that's the magnitude crazy. of it. Yeah. Because the people driving through Ferguson aren't Ferguson residents. They're like St. Louis city residents. They're St. Louis county residents. They're they're whoever's on the street at that time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And like these people will stake out certain places. Like you. As a St. Louis resident, you know what places the police have staked out. Like St. Anne's is on the 570 every X, Y, and Z Friday of every X, Y, and Z week or month to, to catch people, to get right. them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just got caught by them the other day. I have a ticket for speeding because they sit in the same place, backed up, car behind car. I've seen on 270, Maryland Heights, I've seen four cars parked behind each other, four police cars parked behind each other on the highway to catch motorists as they go by. Right, yeah. So you get one, I get the next one, I get the next one, I get, you know, that's how it works. That's what they do. They sit around and that's what they do. But there's all this crime, there's all these violent crimes that need attention, that need investigation, that need solving. Mm -hmm. And where are they? Sitting on the side of the highway or standing in front of a police department harassing people that are not harassing anyone? Harassing people that are exercising their First Amendment rights, but because they feel like you're not a citizen, you don't get those rights. Right, you don't deserve. Yeah, yeah. Therefore, we can do whatever we want to, you and that's justified exactly. because you must be a criminal. Our reality thinks that you aren't citizens. Yeah.